welcome back to the Nourishing Roots channel where I show you how to learn to love food, adore your body and become your authentic self. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little secret of mine which is all about my secret love for tea. Yep, that's right, I'm going to share with you how tea is a huge part of my life and how it contributes to my Nourishing Roots lifestyle as well as just self-care in general. I really think tea has some amazing health benefits to share with us, but it's not as you may think. So let's dive right in there and get to the nitty gritty of why I love tea so much. Firstly, let's start at the very beginning. So from a really, really young age, I grew up with my nan and granddad and they would feed me, no word of a lie, bottles of tea. Yep, bottles of tea, not milk, but literally bottles of sugary tea. Now, any health professional would probably go, hmm, that's probably not the best thing to feed a baby, but it worked for me and it kind of started and rekindled this lifelong relationship with tea that I still have now. So an important part of tea for me is that it lies in a lot of my memories. So for example, with my nan and granddad, we would always have tea together and we'd also have tea on holidays in the caravan. Um, many people who live up north would probably know that holidays were usually just sitting in a caravan and having a fun time, but also drinking lots and lots of tea. And that would mean getting together socially, having lots of biscuits, like hobnobs, which I have here, which are my favourite biscuits, and just generally just taking time to relax. Also, I must mention my good old Nan, who unfortunately she's not here with us today, but she was the complete tea connoisseur. Even though she would serve me tea with three sugars, she knew how to make the perfect brew. And if we were coming to her house, she would actually know, I don't know whether psychically or not, but she would know even if we were around the corner, as soon as we would step into the door, the kettle would already be on. She'd have a plate of probably like some Tunnock's tea cakes, which are basically like marshmallows covered in milk chocolate, which I really loved, as well as some top chocolate digesters and cups of tea waiting for us and for me as a young child that just sent me into complete bliss mode because I knew that the next 40 minutes or so were going to be really enjoyable. One, spending time with my grandparents, two, having cups of tea and biscuits, perfect. The next little point I'd like to talk to you about tea with is that its health benefits lie in so much more than its nutritional content. And again, I, I speak about this in the Nourishing Roots philosophy in relation to food, but in relation to tea, I think like our society focuses a lot on health benefits around the antioxidants in tea or the phytochemicals in tea, especially green tea. But for me, I think that we're missing a big point. I think we forget that actually by just taking time to make the tea itself and the whole ritual around putting the kettle on, waiting time for the tea to brew and even just listening to the water pouring all over the tea, like for me that's just really, really calming. So if you've had a stressful day or whether that's at work or when you come home or elsewhere, you can just feel really relaxed just by the simple act of making yourself a good cup tea. Also on that note, when making tea, I think people always tend to be with other people. So if you're out in one of your favourite cafes or you've gone to even just a little old cafe around the corner, then guaranteed you're probably likely to venture there with a friend or a family member. And there's something about just clutching onto a warm cup of tea that is just so comforting and it makes you be more open with the person that you're with and just more able to share problems. And if we look back at the history of tea, kind of the movement kind of started and flared up really when everybody started to get together and make time for tea. And usually a lot of the time it was women in tea rooms and whether they were talking about the latest gossip or they were just talking about politics or marital affairs and weird things like that, then it, you know, it just made it ever so much more comforting and amazing to have a cup of tea. Another point I'd also like to mention about tea 
is the fact that I am a bit of a tea obsessive when it comes to collecting tea and teaware and just about anything that is absolutely related to tea in any way. So if you look in my cupboards in my kitchen, you will find a whole section dedicated to different teas. I love loose leaf tea and I also love different herbal teas. But most of all, what I'm really obsessed with at the moment is Earl Grey tea with hot, usually almond milk, but any hot milk really. And that just, oh, it's just so good, especially with some biscuits or even just on its own. Um, but on that note, I'd like to say that there's so many different teas you can try. And that in itself, like picking a tea that suits your mood or what you're eating, that's a creative process in itself. And I talk about in the Nourish Your Roots philosophy, creativity is important and going with the flow of life is important and feeling free to make your own choices in life is really important. And at a really basic level, all of those things can be achieved simply through choosing your own tea and making a good brew. So before I kind of make you weep and cry through me talking for hours about tea, which I could totally do if you wanted me to, I'd just like to say that I want to encourage more and more people to just simply take time for a good cup of tea, maybe a few biscuits, reconnect with some friends and family, and you'll probably find that the health benefits come in their own right. Even if you're not drinking some rich antioxidant based tea, the fact remains that just making a good old brew the way you like it, personally made by yourself, is one of the most loving things that you can do for yourself. So I'd just like to sum up by saying, let's all enjoy a good brew. So if you'd like me to maybe make more videos about tea, then I'd be definitely happy to do that. I mean, I know this channel isn't based on tea itself, but I really feel that making tea fits in line with a whole lifestyle and philosophy of self-care. So if you want me to make a video about tea or my favorite teas or even what biscuits go best in tea, then, you know, just give me a comment down below or you could just simply tell me what your favorite teas are, how you like to make tea or what your memories are with tea whether they might be with spooning three sugars in your tea like me or having it black or just taking time with 10 biscuits and dunking it in your tea. Just tell me how you like tea. You can already realize that I'm really obsessed with tea. Anyway, I will let you go, but it'd be great if you could subscribe to this channel or like this video and I'll hopefully see you soon with more cups of tea. So on that note, cheers.